So the man who was shot and killed by Seattle PD at 3 p.m. on the 17th of April has been identified. Hey, you know, time, Seattle PD. Man, what? You go rob me? Is that it? <laughs> the man was identified as retired U.S. Navy physician who is tied to an address in Hansville, Kitsap County, from what, what records say. His name is Bruce Covel Menley, 67 years old. He was identified Tuesday by the King County Medical Examiner's Office, and that's publicly like available information. And I'll show you right over here what I found when I looked it up. It says his name plain as day right there. It even shows you who was involved and the date. So the King County Medical Examiner's Office determined that he died from multiple gunshot wounds and ruled his death a homicide. Obviously, the video that you saw cut off cut short before it started getting real violent. But after that, I'll describe what happened. So <clears throat> the footage starts with the officers behind a closed hotel room door. As the open, as the door opens, you saw a man wearing jeans, a ball cap, and a button down shirt underneath an olive colored jacket is seen standing in the hallway with his right hand across his chest inside his jacket pocket. His face has been blurred in the video as well as everything else that was violent in the video got blurred because uh, the Seattle PD actually uploaded the footage, which you can find, um, but I'm not going to post it up here. So as soon as the door opens, it says, Hey, Officer Thomas, Seattle P. Hey, Officer Thomas, Seattle P. And then one officer seems to say, but he doesn't finish identifying himself as the man pulls out a black handgun out of his pocket, which you see in the video. And the officer advances with outstretched arms, grabs for the gun, and appears to turn it towards the man before a shot is fired in the struggle. Gun, the officer says, keeping hold of the man as the officers on either side of him pull their service weapons and repeatedly fire until the man is slumped on the floor. One of the officers can be seen removing a magazine from his gun and inserting a new one while another officer appears injured as he drags himself around a corner behind a short wall. 14 seconds elapse between the door opening and the first officer who, is th who by then had moved down the hallway saying into his police radio shots fired shots fired suspect down help the officer officer adam fowler and nick french were identified as the officers who opened fire according to the blotter post one of them suffered a graze wound to his leg but it's unclear what that was the officers have been placed on administrative leave while the shooting is investigated which is typical for cases like this this is the first shooting by seattle police department officers in eight months and the first fatal one in 23 months which is probably another reason why they're investigating. But here's the key. Here's the thing that's very interesting that I find interesting. The U.S. Department of Defense records show that Menley served from 1986 until 2016 in the Navy, right? Now, like I said before, it says he was a retired U.S. Navy physician. Commander of the Joint Medical Group at Guantanamo Bay. I think this is one of the best joint commands I've ever uh, had the honor of working with. Fox 13 actually released an article that said that he was a Navy captain and a doctor who served at Guantanamo Bay. He, ser he spoke with the New York Times in 2016 about the abuse of patients at the remote detention center. He was the commander of NATO Role 3 multinational medical unit in Afghanistan as well. So Menley left his role in Gitmo in 2009 after he'd been there during the Bush administration and the Obama administration. And then he left his NATO role from Afghanistan in 2012. According to authorities, Menley was being investigated by the state's Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, which is a big task force that's been put together to fight off human trafficking, specifically targeting, targeting children. According to police chief Adrian Diaz, the suspect believed he was meeting up with two girls ages seven and 11. The suspect believed he was meeting up with two girls the age of 7 and 11. And that's why they set it up as a sting, because this guy was willing to go through with it. According to a criminal complaint obtained by Fox 13 News, Menley was charged with sex crimes in 2017 when he was arrested during a human trafficking prostitution sting in Bremerton. Detectives posed as a sex worker online agreed to meet up with Menley, where he was actually met up with by Kitsap County Sheriff deputies. His number was implicated in two separate prostitution operations, deputies reported. Docs from 2017 also say that also state that Menley was had admitted 
He had been arrested for a similar offense in Texas years prior. At the time, he was diverted to community service and classes. Sounds like this was a trend. Now, my main concern, if you want to see the full video of the actual shooting, I'll post the link of it in the description. You can go watch it. The thing about this situation is there's an, there's an obvious trend that was set, and this is something that he'd been doing over the course of probably an extended period of time. His first time from what I've seen so far that was recorded getting caught was 2017. And he got out of the military in 2016 after having served from 1986. So that's 86, 96, 2006. He served for 30 years in the Navy as a medical officer. And, then, and when he retired, he was an 06, which is like equivalent to a full bird colonel in every other branch, but it's called captain in the Navy. Now, my concern is, is that the first time he got caught was 2017. But how many times did he do it beforehand and not get caught? Like, I guarantee that that 2017 incident is not the first time that he did something like this. Um, makes you wonder, you know, like, did he ever, did he do these things? Did he commit these types of, you know, sexual crimes while he was in the military and just not get in trouble for it? Or it gets swept under the rug by his commanders or by his command team? And like, what happened? Um, I've got some friends that work at the VA and various agencies that I can like tap into to see if we can find out a little bit more about this guy. Cause I would personally like to know if he'd ever been reprimanded for any of this stuff in the past. Uh, to see if there was ever any type of trend that had been set. Uh, because people like this do it until they get caught. And almost like, you know, almost like a serial killer, a uh, serial or a serial uh, like a serial offender of these types of crimes probably does it over and over again until they get caught. So um, I'm glad that the Seattle PD guys, you know, took care of business because that's one less person preying on children out there. Uh, but it definitely warrants being investigated a little further. And I'd like to know how he got away with this type of behavior for such a long time. So I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out a little bit more about this in the coming days. Uh, in the meantime, you know, I'm going to try to look into finding out a little bit more about this guy because they don't really go into much detail about what his career was like. Um, and there's just like small local news networks that had stuff about him. It wasn't anything large. So anyway, we'll see what pops up and I'll let you guys know when I find something out. Anyway, anyway, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below and... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.